Welcome back to Mighty Military, where we break down the world's most powerful weapons and the strategic shifts shaping modern warfare. In a rare and highly significant development, official Chinese military media has released footage showing a YJ-20 hypersonic anti-ship missile being launched from a People's Liberation Army Navy Type 055 large destroyer. This marks the first time that a live firing of the YJ-20 from a surface warship has been publicly shown, offering an unprecedented glimpse into one of China's most advanced naval strike capabilities. The video was released on Sunday by China Military Bugle, an official outlet operating under the PLA News Media Center. Unlike unofficial leaks or satellite imagery, this footage comes directly from an authoritative military source, signaling a deliberate message from Beijing about the maturity and confidence behind this weapon system. According to the report, the launch took place aboard the Type 055 destroyer Wu Shi, a 10,000-ton class warship that represents the backbone of China's modern surface fleet. The footage captures what is described as a finalization test of a ship-to-ship -ship missile system. In military development terms, a finalization test usually indicates the last major validation phase before a system formally enters production and frontline service. The released video shows multiple camera angles, including close-up views of the missile's launch sequence. Observers can clearly see the missile being ejected from a vertical launching cell located in the aft section of the destroyer. The YJ-20 uses a cold launch method, meaning compressed gas ejects the missile from the launcher before the rocket motor ignites. This approach reduces stress on the launch system, increases safety, and allows the missile to be deployed from enclosed vertical cells at sea. Chinese military media stated that the missile successfully struck and destroyed its target, although details about the target type and range were not disclosed. Still, the symbolism of the footage is hard to miss. This is the first time an official report has shown a live YJ-20 hypersonic anti-ship missile being fired from a warship, transforming what was previously a parade weapon into a clearly operational naval asset. The YJ-20 was first publicly revealed during China's V-Day military parade in Beijing on September 3rd, where it appeared alongside other advanced anti-ship systems, including the YJ-15, the YJ-17 hypersonic missile, and the YJ-19. At the time, Chinese media emphasized that these weapons were designed for multi-platform deployment, capable of being launched from aircraft, surface vessels, and submarines. Until now, there had been no public confirmation of an actual naval launch. Chinese military affairs expert Zhang Junshe provided insight into the missile's design and performance. He explained that any maneuverable missile capable of sustaining speeds above Mach 5 is classified as hypersonic. Based on its external shape and known characteristics, the YJ-20 is believed to be a boost glide weapon consisting of a rocket booster that accelerates the missile to hypersonic speed, followed by a bicone-shaped glide vehicle that separates and continues toward the target. The bicone design plays a critical role in the missile's lethality. During hypersonic flight, the shape generates controlled shock waves that allow the missile's air control surfaces to remain effective even at extreme speeds. This enables terminal phase maneuverability, making the missile far harder to track and intercept compared to traditional ballistic or cruise missiles. Zhang also highlighted the missile's attack profile, which presents a major challenge for naval air defense systems. The YJ-20 is believed to be capable of striking surface ships at a near vertical angle, similar to a ballistic missile's terminal descent, but with the added complexity of hypersonic speed and maneuverability. Combined, these factors severely compress reaction time for ship-based defenses, pushing current interception systems to their limits. From a strategic perspective, deploying the YJ-20 aboard the Type 055 destroyer dramatically extends the operational reach of the PLA Navy. Rather than relying solely on land-based missile forces, China now can project hypersonic strike power into distant waters, operating far from its coastline while maintaining a credible anti-ship threat against high-value naval targets.
The Type 055 itself is central to this capability. As the largest surface combatant in the Chinese fleet, it is widely regarded as a multi-role command ship designed for air defense, anti-ship warfare, and fleet coordination. Equipped with a large number of vertical launch cells and advanced sensors, the destroyer serves as the ideal platform for next-generation weapons like the YJ-20. The public release of this footage strongly suggests that the YJ-20 is approaching, if not already entering operational service on frontline warships. It also sends a clear strategic message to rival navies operating in contested regions. China is no longer merely developing hypersonic naval weapons, it is actively deploying them at sea. As hypersonic missiles continue to reshape naval warfare by reducing warning times and challenging existing defense systems, the appearance of the YJ-20 aboard the Type 055 marks a significant shift in the balance of maritime strike power in the Indo-Pacific region. For mighty military, this development is more than just a missile test. It represents a glimpse into the future of naval combat, where speed, precision, and survivability define dominance at sea. Stay tuned to Mighty Military for more in-depth analysis of advanced weapons, emerging military technologies, and the global power shifts shaping tomorrow's battlefields.